Welcome guys. This is lecture 22 and it's a tutorial. Let's start with one problem. I'll introduce the idea and then you could take your time at home to solve it. Okay, so it's problem for 13. Compound A undergoes a reversible isomerization reaction. It goes to be reversibly over a supported metal catalyst. Under pertinent conditions, A and B are liquid, so it's a liquid phase reaction, miscible, miscible, so they probably have the same density, they dissolve in each other, and of nearly identical density, as stated here. So you can easily and safely assume that it's a constant density system. The constant, the equilibrium constant for the reaction in concentration units is 5.8 so it says that the equilibrium constant for the reaction and constant concentration unit so means that this is kc in a fixed bid isothermal flow reactor in which back mixing is negligible so we have a ideal plug flow a feed of pure a undergoes a net conversion of to b of 55 percent so the conversion is 55%. The reaction is elementary, so you can easily write the rate law. In a second identical flow reactor at the same temperature, or if a second identical flow reactor at the same temperature is placed downstream from the first, what overall conversion of A would you expect? F. So basically, you have first reactor and here let's say that the stream is zero and the stream is stream number one so the conversion here x1 is given as 0.55 okay and kc is given for the reaction so we have kc let's say kc is given to be 5.8 and the reaction is elementary so you can easily write the rate law okay okay so what's required what's required is the overall conversion of a so that's what you need to calculate if a second identical reactor so another reactor which has the same mass of catalyst or the same volume is placed downstream how is it placed downstream let's see option a the reactors are directly connected in series so we have another reactor another reactor connected here okay so we can call this stream two and then we have here x2 okay what's the other option b the products from the first reactor are separated by appropriate processing and only the unconverted a is fed to the second reactor so let's see this option so we have the first reactor and then we have a second reactor but before the second reactor we have a separator so there is separation here and after separation takes place we have the second reactor here and of course we can also label the streams okay so let's see again this is stream zero zero and this is stream one you can call this stream two three and four okay again what do we need we need the x here let's call it x3 for example that's what we need okay so we have now these two arrangements. 
طيب how do we calculate well we have some big uh, we have a really a big difference between setup number one and setup number two so what's the difference and setup number one we have reactors and series so that means we can use the new definition of x where x start here at so here x0 is 0 and then goes up to x1 which is 0.55 and then it goes from 0.55 up to x2 correct so x2 in fact is the overall conversion is the conversion achieved by reactor 1 and 2 however if we want to calculate the x here now we have yes we do have two reactors but they are not in series because we have side streams correct remember when we have side streams we cannot really take the new definition of x which means which means here x2 varies from 0 to x3 and the same thing here for reactor 1 again the x varies from 0 to x1 which is 0.55 of course okay so you got the idea because we have side stream now we cannot take the new definition of x which means that we will have we will have x from 0 to x1 for reactor 1 and for reactor 2 we also have x going from 0 to react uh, 0 to x3 that means that means if we're gonna write v for setup number one a if we're gonna say so we have two reactors which are identical correct so v1 equals v2 and in order to find v2 we can use the design of equation and the x obviously goes from x1 to x2 and for v1 it goes from 0 to x1 okay what about setup the second setup for the second setup still v1 equals v2 okay so still v1 equals to v2 and for v1 it's the integration of if a naught over minus r a dx from 0 to x1 where of course x1 is point five five let's let's look at the second reactor so when it comes to the second reactor after the separator it's the integration of the feed what's the feed to the second reactor we say that stream uh, we labeled it as i remember as um two so that's what we have we label so it's if a two that's the inlet where x varies from 0 to x3 for instance correct or you can have different labels as well it's up to you it's totally up to you we can label it for instance let's see this is separator and this is reactor 2 we can since this is reactor 2 we can label this 0 2 label this as 2 and this is reactor 1 we can label it as 0 and this is 1 and this is stream we can label it as 3 so we can do this in this case it's f a 0 2 f a 0 2 divided by minus r a times dx where x varies from 0 to x 2 so now we have all the symbols easy to follow up okay so go ahead and solve this problem and also don't forget to calculate the overall conversion in this case because here 
x2 is not the overall conversion. It's not. Okay, so what is it then? Well, you already remember how to calculate the overall conversion from triple one, correct? So it is the, in this case, the overall conversion would be moles converted and the whole system, which you can calculate it from FA naught minus FA2 divided by FA naught. Okay, I'll leave you with the solution. Okay, then we have another problem. And in this problem, we have a batch reactor. And again, I'm going to use different batches per day, more than one batch per day. And in this case, we have, <clears throat> well, we're still going to use this equation, the, dimension, the dimensional equation. Um, in this case, the number of reactor is not known. So that's one unknown. And then I believe you have also the x is unknown as well so we have one equation two unknowns which which gives us an opportunity for optimization so we don't have one unique answer but in this in this whole equation and c equal blah 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 we have actually two unknowns we have as i said x and the nr so you can have different answers for x depending on the answer of the number of reactor you choose or you can have different nr number of reactors for different values of x you choose so here we go we plot this and we find that hmm maybe you want to minimize the number of reactor used correct especially that it gives me high conversion so we have an optimum solution here yes we have lots of solutions but we have an optimum solution here okay i believe i'll leave you here with these two problems so that you solve them peacefully at home